Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Sawyer and I'm a developer advocate for IBM Bluemix and today we're going to be talking about how you can use your own SSL cert and domain in Bluemix. Yay! Woo! Uh, this is a part two to a video, so if you've not watched part one on how you get free SSL in Bluemix, I would encourage you to check out this link right here and click on it. Check it out. Um, but we're going to be talking about how you can bring your own SSL cert and actually use your own domain. Like mine is uh, jeffslayer.io. I can use that with Bluemix and bring my own SSL cert. I can get SSL in Bluemix uh, for free. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, you can just run your site with SSL and Bluemix for free. And that's actually kind of huge now. Um, Google actually uses SSL to determine uh, the, your, your, your SEO score now. So having SSL, SSL is actually really important. So I'm going to walk through how to use SSL with your own domain in Bluemix today. So let's jump right into it. So I have an application up and running in Bluemix. It's just a simple Node app. Well, let's go ahead and click on it. It's just a Hello World one that comes with, with Bluemix from the, from the catalog. Super simple app, but we're going to use this to demonstrate um, how we can use our own SSL cert in Bluemix. So if you notice, if you remember from the last video, you get SSL for free just by typing this up here in the top. But this is on the, the mybluemix.net domain. But we don't want that. We want to use our own domain and use our own cert. So to do that, um, Step one is actually getting an SSL cert. You can find these from many people online. Namecheap is pretty cheap. GoDaddy, you can get it from GoDaddy too or any, any of your favorite registrars. For this demo, I'm gonna be using a self-signed cert uh, because we're cheap and we're not gonna go buy an SSL cert for me to use in here. And I'm cheap too and I don't wanna spend my own money on it. So I have my DNS registered with Namecheap. I love Namecheap. Uh, I already have it, uh, some, some uh, domains set up in here. But the, the domain we're gonna be using today is uh, called uh, domain test. We're going to want to create a new A record for that. An A record is basically a way to point to a specific um, IP address for a host name. So our host name is going to be domain test. And so you might be asking yourself, what do I type in for the value? So the value is actually the load balancer for Bluemix for the region that you're in. If you're running your app in the US and US South, it's this. I'll be posting uh, some links and the IP addresses for um, other regions like uh, London and Sydney down below. I'm gonna change my TTL to 30 minutes so things propagate quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and click Save Changes. So this is step number one, You need to, or step two. You need to get an SSL cert. You need to set up an A record to point at least a, a one host name to Bluemix. It's kind of redundant here because this first one actually points um, actually all my, my uh, DNS to Bluemix. So it's kind of redundant, but I just wanted to show you how to create an A record. So we'll go back to Bluemix. Again, this is our application. We see this thing up here that says routes. So this, we can have multiple routes to our application. If we want to bring our own SSL cert in our own domain, it's pretty simple. So up here in the top hand right, we'll click on this little person's head, click on manage organizations. You probably only just have one here on the left. I have a bunch, but that's okay. One's completely fine. So here at the top, we're gonna to see domains. This is where we wanna go. We click on domains. I have a bunch in here already, but don't worry about that, that's fine. Click on add a domain. I'm gonna type in ball, ballandapps.com. Don't ask why this is called. This is something that I just used in college, don't ask why. Go ahead and click on save. This is going to register the domain with our account Bluemix, so now we can route traffic to Bluemix. So if you wanted to test this out, let's uh, go back to our application. So I'll go ahead and Click on dashboard, click on our application again, and click on this little pencil icon to edit the routes. We're gonna give it a new route. We're gonna do domain test dot ballandapps.com, that thing we just created in Namecheap. So this matches up, domain test, ballandapps.com, cool. So click on save. So if we go to our application, we can still see our old application works. Cool, it's still running, but let's check out our new one now. We we'll want to go to domain test.ballinapps.com. In this case, it'll be whatever domain name and, and uh, app name you use. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. It should take me back to the exact same application. Cool, it did. However, let's try out SSL. 
Ooh, that's not good. It doesn't like our SSL cert. Uh-oh. That means because we haven't uploaded an SSL cert yet. So let's go ahead and do that. We click on this person icon again in Bluemix again. Click on manage organizations again. We'll bring us back to the same page we were at earlier. We'll click on domains and scroll down and find our, our um, domain name in the list. So in my case, it's ballnaps.com. You're going to see this button that says, looks like a little upload icon underneath SSL certificate. Go ahead and click it. So you don't have to find your SSL cert and private key for your certificate. If you use a registrar like GoDaddy that uses some of the the newer um, intermediate search, you can upload your intermediate search chain here as well. Really cool. So um, again, I'm cheap and IBM was cheap for this video. So I'm using a self-signed cert. Don't ever do this for productions. Dumb. This is just it's for this video. So I'm using a self-signed cert. I just need to find my key and um, certificate. So if you want to use a self-signed cert, I'll put some instructions below on how, how I did it, but just for testing things out. But don't ever do this for a real website. Click on Upload. Okay, now we can see there is a happy little icon here with ballandapps.com with an SSL cert certificate. So let's go ahead and click on Dashboard and go back to our app. So you can see nothing's changed here. That's great. Nothing should have changed, but let's refresh our, our tab with our SSL cert with our, our application, our custom domain. So let's refresh it. Cool, I got an SSL warning this time. If I was using a real certificate, I would have not gotten this. It would have went directly to the site. But since I was using a self-signed cert, I'm getting this warning, so I just need to accept it, whatever. But if you real, use a real cert, you would not get that warning. That's why there's this red X up there. If you're using a real cert, it will go through fine. Awesome, everything's working. I just use my own SSL cert with my own domain on Bluemix. Pretty cool. So to recap, we went through today how to upload your own SSL cert to Bluemix and use your own domain name. Some little, some caveats though, don't ever, 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 ever use a self-signed cert. I did this for this video only because um, I did not want to pay for my own an SSL cert with my own money and I'd be able to buy me one. So um, use a real cert. Uh, use something from GoDaddy, Namecheap, or your favorite registrar. Just make sure you get a real cert. Um, it support, supports intermediate certs, which is really cool. If you have something newer, like the G2 certificate from uh, GoDaddy, you can upload your, your cert chain and things will verify correctly. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, feedback, uh, leave them below or hit me up on Twitter at jslawyer. Uh, thanks again for watching. Adios.